Homicide, 1908. The case of 24-year-old Harry Davis. Harry Davis was convicted of the manslaughter of 56-year-old Maria Hannah Monday. Harry Davis was a chauffeur and was driving his employer's car with a girl when he ran Maria Monday over in Denby Street, London, on the 23rd of December 1907. He had taken his mistress home and should have put the car away in the garage, but instead went out to see a friend. Maria Monday had been out with her daughter shopping in London. They had lived in Sutherland Street and had gone out shopping a little after 11pm. Her daughter said that there are a lot of people about and a lot of costermongers stalls and shop stalls. The daughter said that they were crossing Denby Street and walking in the direction of Foxes, the grocer, when they saw a motor car coming from Victoria. She said that when she saw it they were on the curb by the butcher's shop and said that she thought that they had time to cross. She said that they started to cross and that when they were in the middle of the street the car seemed to be suddenly upon them. The daughter said that she stayed where she was but that her mother hurried across to the curb. However, she said that the car then mounted the curb and ran her down. She said that the car seemed to drag her mother underneath it. The daughter said that the car seemed to run onto the curb before it caught her mother and that she heard no horn, hooter or bell sounded from the car. Harry Davies said that he left his employer at her house at 29 Hyde Park Gardens and thought that he would go to see a friend and so drove across the park to Chapel Mews. He said that ordinarily he ought to have taken the car to 39 Hyde Park Garden Mews where it was ordinarily kept. However, he said that he went to see his friend and on the way met a girl who he took on the box of his car and said that he passed his friend who was in another car in Grosvenor Place and that they then drove down Wilton Road into Hinden Street. He said that he was not driving at any excessive speed and said that there was no other vehicular traffic although there was a lot of foot traffic on the pavement. He said that when he got to Warwick Street there were a lot of people standing all over the road. He said that after he left St. Leonard Street that he blew his horn and the people in the road moved away. He said that he then saw two people starting to cross the street near the butcher's shop and that he kept going and that they stopped in the middle of the road and he said that he thought that they were going to stop there to let him pass and so he went on. However, he said then that as he got within three yards, one of them made deliberately to go across the front of his car. He said that seeing that there was no more room to pass between the one that was running towards the pavement and the pavement than there was between the one that was running and the one that was standing still, he turned his car into the pavement and put the brakes on directly. He said that if he had turned to the right, he might have knocked the daughter down. He said that if both women had stopped, or if both had gone on, they had a plan of action that said that one stopped and the other went on. He said, I did the best I could at the moment but unfortunately he did not succeed in clearing her. The clerk said that he had been walking down Wilton Road from the direction of Victoria Station at about 11.30pm and was opposite St John's Church when he heard a noise and said that before he had time to turn, he saw two cars pass him at tremendous speed with about 50 yards distance between them. He said that each car had a driver and a young girl. He said that he went to a newspaper shop and then heard some shouting and when he went into Denby Street he saw a crowd and the motor car partly on the pavement and partly on the roadway. A police constable said that he was on duty in Wilton Street near St John's Church at about 11.30pm when he saw two motor cars coming from the direction of Victoria Station about 30 or 40 yards apart and going about 12 or 40 miles per hour. He said that he saw Harry Davis in the first car with a young girl. He said that there was a lot of pedestrian traffic in Wilton Road but only a few vehicles and that it was the part of Wilton Road that was a shopping district. He said that he then went to Denby Street and saw Harry Davis's car partly on the pavement and partly on the road, and Maria Monday lying in the road. A greengrocer whose house was at 31 Hinden Street, about 30 yards from the corner of Warwick Street and Denby Street, said that he was standing outside his shop at about 11pm with his son when he saw a motor car going from Victoria Station up Hinden Street. He said that it was going very swift and that Harry Davis was driving it. He said that shortly after it passed him he heard a scream and that he then went to the place of the crash. He said that he didn't hear any horn or hooter. The two girls they had picked up were 16 years old and one of them said that she had known Harry Davis for about three months. 
The girl that had been in the car with Harry Davis said that she had been with her friend at 9.45pm in Denby Street when she saw Harry Davis drive past. She said that they didn't say anything, but then went to the Constitution Pub in Churton Street where they saw Harry Davis's and his friend's cars outside. She said that they then came out and that Harry Davis said that he had to be at his employer's place in five minutes and that he then drove off and that she and her friend then went off with the other driver to Charing Cross where they went to another pub. She said that they stayed in the car while the driver went in and that they then went to another pub in Chapel Mews where they had two glasses of port. She said that Harry Davis then came to the pub and went inside after which they went off in the cars, one girl in each. She said that when they left the pub, Harry Davis said that he would catch the other driver up, and that they then went up Grosvenor Place into Grosvenor Street, where the other cars stopped to let them by. She said that they then went into Buckingham Palace Road, and then worked their way round into Wilton Road, and then at the top of Hindon Street they saw two women crossing the road, but said that when the two women saw them coming in their car, they rushed back to the side that they had come from. The girl said that they were right in the middle of the road when she first saw them, and that when they got nearer the pavement, the young girl turned round and seemed to push the older woman towards the car. She said then that the older woman went to run back across the road, and that the car went to clear her, and then the next thing she knew was that the woman was underneath the car wheel, and the car was on the pavement. Maria Monday was taken to St George's Hospital around midnight on the 23rd of December 1907. A house surgeon said that she was unconscious and bleeding from a wound on the right side of her head, three inches in length. He said that her skull was fractured and that she had many bruises. He said that she died the next day at about three o'clock. Harry Davis was convicted at the Old Bailey on Thursday the 9th of January 1908 and sentenced to six months hard labour. When the judge passed sentence, he observed that an example must be made, and the public protected against such dangerous persons as Harry Davis. Harry Davis was also known as Crawford Henry Davis. Hinden Street was soon after renamed Wilton Road, whilst Warwick Street is now called Warwick Way.